Hey everyone, today's it is about When you argue with him, then faint after hiding your sickness Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share Let's get going You stood in the middle of your living room Face flushed with frustration An arms crossed idly across your chest Bakugo, equally furious, faced you His hands balled into fists at his sides it was a rare argument between the two of you, but the tension had been building for days. This is ridiculous, Lion. Bakugo's voice was sharp, laced with anger. You can't just keep shutting me out like this. You clenched your jaw, struggling to keep your emotions in check. I'm not shutting you out. I just need some space right now. The argument had started over something trivial but it had quickly escalated into a full-blown confrontation. Neither of you was willing to back down, and the air was thick with tension. Bakugo took a step towards you, his voice low and intense. We can't solve anything if we keep avoiding me and not talking. You felt your anger flare, and you couldn't hold back your retort. And what else would you know about solving problems, Bakugo? You always resort to violence first. His eyes narrowed dangerously. Don't bring that up. But you were too far gone in your own anger to stop. Maybe if you could control that temper of yours, we wouldn't be in this mess. The words hung in the air, a moment of silence following your outburst. You both knew you'd crossed the line. Baku's face confronted with a mix of anger and hurt and he turned away from you, his hands trembling. You immediately regretted your words, but pride kept you from apologizing right away. So instead, you stormed to the bedroom, needing to cool off. Inside the dimly lit room, you lay down on the bed, your heart pounding with a mix of emotions. The argument had taken a toll on you, and you felt drained, of as to you. You have been hiding something. A high fever that had been worsening over the past couple of days. You didn't want to worry him, but it had left you feeling weak and irritable. So as you laid there, trying to calm your racing heart, you suddenly felt lightheaded. Your vision blurred, and the room seemed to spin. Panic set in as you realized something was seriously wrong. You forced yourself to sit up, but your strength was fading rapidly. Just as you managed to call out Bakugo's name, your vision went completely black, and you slumped back into the bed, unconscious. Seconds later, the bedroom door burst open, and Bakugo rushed in, his anger replaced by concern. He found you lying on the bed, your face pale and drenched in sweat. Panic surged through him as he realized Something was seriously wrong. Why on? Bakugo's voice wavered. With fear as he shook your shoulders. When he didn't respond, he checked your forehead and was alarmed by the scorching heat he felt. Damn it, you idiot. In a flash, Bakugo scooped you into his arms, carrying you to the bathroom. He gently placed you in the bathtub and turned on the cold water hoping to bring down your fever. As the cool water cascaded over you, you finally began to stir. Your eyes fluttered open, and you looked up at Bakugo with confusion and weakness. What? What happened? You mumbled weakly. Bakugo's voice was filled with relief as he answered. You fainted, you damn fool. You've got a fever, and he didn't even tell me. Tears welled up in your eyes as the realization of your foolishness hit you. I'm sorry, Katsuki. I didn't want to worry you. He sighed, his anger from the argument replaced by deep concern. Well, you sure as hell scared me now. Bakugo carefully lifted you out of the bathtub and settled you under the covers and fetched the damp clothes to place on your forehead. You whispered an apology, your voice trembling. 
I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I really didn't mean it. Baku's expression softened as he sat by your side. I didn't mean what I said either, Lion. We were both stupid. You reached out and held his hand, squeezing it gently. I love you, Katsuki. I shouldn't have let this argument get so out of hand. He brought your hand to his lips, placing a gentle kiss on your fingers. I love you too, Lion. Now let's focus on getting you better, okay? He stayed by your side throughout the night, tending to your fever and making sure that you were comfortable. It was a stark contrast to the heated argument earlier, but it was in moments like these that your love truly shone through. Like unwavering support and care that you had for each other, even in your darkest moments. As the night wore on, the tension from the argument seemed like a distant memory. All that matters now. Was the person that you loved lying beside you and the promise of a new day? When you could put the argument behind you and move forward together. The night pressed on, with Bakugo keeping a vigilant watch over you, ensuring your fever was gradually receding. The bathroom floor was littered with used, damp clothes, evidence of his relentless efforts to soothe your high temperature. In the quiet moments between administering cold compresses, Bakugo's thoughts drifted back to the argument. It was one of those rare occasions when the two of you clashed so fiercely. He had said things in anger that he regretted now. He knew he could be so hot-headed, but he had never wanted to hurt you like that. As the first night of dawn began to filter through the room, he stirred, your fever finally breaking. He turned to find Bakugo's crimson eyes fixed on you. Filled with worry and guilt. Katsuki, I'm really sorry for what I said. No, I should be the one apologizing. I let my temper get the best of me. You managed a weak smile. We both messed up, didn't we? He nodded, really flashing over him that you weren't holding a grudge. Yeah, we did. But we worked through it. The two of you laid there, hands intertwined silently mending the rift that had formed between you during the heated argument. In that vulnerable moment, you both realized just how much you meant to each other and how foolish it was to let trivial disagreements drive a wedge between your love. In that small room, you and Bakugo had rediscovered the power of your love, a love that could weather any storm, even a feverish argument that had threatened to tear you apart. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.